We started the company, uh, it was called Moorspit Premium in Poultry. Um, I started it myself, I'm Alistair Moorspit, so I partnered up with Mark Stiebel a couple years into the project and I think that was about where Farmer Proud came and saw us the last time. We were doing about 500 birds a week then. So this is my little chicken operation. Um, we've got about three houses at the moment, two smaller houses where we keep the chicks and yeah, growing, growing steadily. We started off very small. I set up a few corrugated iron chicken houses. We thought maybe we'll just grow a few, see if there's some sort of market for these chickens. I went around selling door to door, seeing if, they, if the people enjoyed the birds. I got great feedback from it, so I decided to put in a few more chicken houses with my father. He helped me build them up and at the moment, instead of me putting in a massive capital injection, I rent them from my, my parents. We grew using our own capital and we've never been in debt. So um, it's quite nice to be a guy of 24 having your own, own business and, and being able to, to run it nicely without any debt. At the moment we're doing uh, 2,500 birds a week and that is in five years of being around. So we've grown quite nicely. These are Ross Broiler chickens. We buy from a company called National Chicks and we get amazing chicks from them. Um, they are fully vaccinated for Gamboa, Newcastles, um, avian influenza which we've all heard about which was going around and if you don't do that you're just uh, susceptible to these really bad diseases that literally can wipe out the entire flock in three days. We also give them a vaccine called D78 which is for Gamboa as well just to give them an extra boost going in um, because if you don't give them something like that that vaccine from the hatchery can wear off especially if it's a if it's a very strong strain and you can just start developing it later on in life so you kind of do 10 days 18 days 21 days in between there where you vaccinate for the different things you can vaccinate for newcastles uh, avian influenza and gamboro throughout that time the, you get cob and you get ross we prefer Ross, we've just found it a stronger bird and we get a better product out of it at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, it seems to be a bigger bird, um, whereas the cob is a lot bigger breasted and it's better for slaughter, but with our free range system, we need a bigger bird that can handle the outside area a little bit better. A lot of guys believe that free range, the birds just live outside. Well, unfortunately you can't do that because these chickens aren't the strongest as your normal laying hens and um, they will just get annihilated by the by the weather systems that come through. So what we do is from three weeks of age, when the birds are big enough, we'll start opening the hatches and they will start learning how to go outside and enjoying the outside areas. Before that, you have to kind of really control the temperatures, look after them as best you can because they're very fragile little things. And um, from three weeks onwards, they'll start going out, adventuring around the area. And then, you know, we normally, we normally slaughter at about six weeks or just under six weeks. Um, obviously with a free range bird, it takes a little bit longer to grow. So the other bigger companies can do it in four, just over four weeks. Um, we unfortunately can't do that. And that is where the extra price of a free range bird comes in. If you're gonna be a proper free range chicken grower, you are supposed to have one and a half times to two times the area of what you have inside the house, outside the house so that all the birds and more can really come out and enjoy it. Um, we luckily have a free range certificate and we have been verified for that. We've got the open sided houses as well, which is a stipulation in the free range, you know, free range growing system. You can't have the closed climate controlled houses. The birds all obviously come outside, especially in the early morning. And as you can see, they'll, they'll graze all the grass like goats. They really enjoy it. We've got fruit trees planted in the actual areas. These are mulberry trees and there's some lemons. We don't put any feed and stuff out here because we want them to eat the natural vegetation. We'll put some water. We've also got rye grass that we've planted and kukuyu in these areas. That's the main thing with a, a free range bird. We don't claim to be organic. We give them a free range ration from Meadow Feeds. There's no bad growth promoters or anything like that in the feed and they get to express the natural behavior. That's how a chicken expresses its natural behavior and gets clean. So it has a sand bath. He's having a full on sand bath, really enjoying his time there, enjoying a bit of the outside area there. We know this from other agricultural processes. If the animal's happier, you get a better quality product at the end of the day. And um, from an ethical point of view, a happier animal. So all of this just adds to the reason why your bird's a little bit more expensive. Um, because we can't grow it as fast as the other guys, because we, as you can see, our sizes aren't, aren't all the same. You know, because these birds are going out, they're not getting an, a perfect diet every single day. They're getting grass and whatever it is, which is not the exact um, feed that they, 
that they should be having. It's not the perfect nutrient content, which is why your chicken grows so fast now. I mean, if you think about it, back in the day, you used to have a Sunday roast because chicken was so expensive. Now they've got it down to a fine art with a perfect feed, perfect growing system where they can grow the thing in four weeks where it used to take nine weeks to grow a bird and that's why it was so much more expensive. So these are the kind of things you need to look at when you're purchasing your chicken and see, well, is it worth paying the extra 10, 15 rand for the whole chicken? I mean, there's no brown and anything put into these. So what you put in the oven is obviously it shrinks a little bit, but you, you get out a much bigger bird.